Corporal, get up to the old gate, Bobby. There's a group of blacks there making trouble. Come on, boys! End of the team! Truncheons out! Let's sort out them windows once and for all! Back off and leave us be. No one is going to be arresting anyone tonight. Just leave them alone. They're having a quiet drink. They're not doing anything. They're not bothering anyone. <laughs> now, I may have think that it was Private Adams who had thrown the bottle and waving it at the end piece. Let's get out of here. That might have been the end of it. But Corporal oh, Winter threw his gun. <laughs> Adams, get back. My gun, we're going to shoot. One of the other MPs said they should use their truncheons and Corporal Winter put his pistol away and they started waving their truncheon sticks around and maybe they were this long and maybe this thick and made a solid lump of wood and when they hit you, they really hurt and they favored hitting you in the stomach first and suddenly you'd be all double over and they hit you on the head and then you'd be on the ground and it's still a threat and one more in the ball for good luck! Yeah. <laughs> oh. I never saw what happened. And no one ever owned up to how it happened. But sometime during the night, at the corner of Station Road and Cooperative Street, Private William Crossland was shot in the back and died two days later. He was buried 174 miles away in the American War Cemetery at Madeline, Cambridge. He was just 25. Oh, they were young, straight of limb. True of I. Steady and a glow. They were staunch to the end against odds and curtains. <clears throat> they fell with their faces to the floor. They shall, they shall grow, grow not old, old as, as we, we that are left, left grow old. They shall, shall not weary them, them nor, nor the years condemn. At the going, going down, down of the sun and in, in the, the morning, we, we will, will remember them. them. We will, we will remember, remember, remember him. him. I will remember him. <laughs>